Man, I just got older as far as the cutting the hair thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just, you, you get to that point. I know some people just do it because it's like, oh man, it's time for me to cut my hair. I think I should cut my hair because everybody else is cutting. Like, I wanted to cut my hair like before the second album. Yeah. And they was like, nah, man, keep your hair, keep your hair, keep your hair. And, you know, at that time, you know, you got to kind of trust the people that yeah. that's put in place to help you with your album. So, or, or just your, your, your career. And, you know, so I listened to them, but then after a while, it's like, you know what, like, it's, it's part of growth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, I just grew up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got a record on there called Incredible. Um, that it's, uh, it, got, it has a, a strong Marvin feel to it. You know, um, but, you know, that's one of my idols. That's somebody I always just study this music and listen to him and stuff like that. Uh, I'm excited about the record because it's not... You know, I'm known for Mr. Sex, Mr. Put You to Bed. You know, like, I get a chance to talk about a few different topics on this album. So, you know, that record, it, it sticks out because it's actually a great record where it's like you can just enjoy it. And it's, you know, it's about talking positively, you know, especially for the women. So.